Hi, this is Jeremy Jansen with Nucleus Sound Lab, and what you see before you is the Viral Outbreak VST instrument. Hopefully, you've already watched the introduction video that should have given you an idea what Viral Outbreak is all about. If not, I recommend you do so first. This video is meant to show you what's new in the Viral Outbreak 1.5 update we've just released. I'm going to talk about the highlights first. We've added a groove box to Viral Outbreak 1.5. What this is exactly is a step sequencer engine that can control Viral Outbreak itself or any other MIDI capable instrument. Using the groove box, you can easily sequence whole tracks inside Viral Outbreak. We've also added an FX version of Viral Outbreak to the 1.5 package. This means you can load up Viral Outbreak as a VST effect and use it to process other tracks or instruments. To showcase some of these new features, there are 136 new professional presets included in Viral Outbreak. Most are authored by the talented sound designer Tasmodia, and I've done a few myself as well. These presets make great use of the groove box so you can see its capabilities in action. Many more features and bug fixes are included in 1.5, but I'm going to stop there for now. Visit www.nucleussoundlab.com for the complete list of changes and fixes. The best part about this update? It's completely free for existing Viral Outbreak owners. Just wait for the email with your download link and you can try it out yourself. Next, I'm going to show you briefly how the Groovebox works and following that, show you some Groovebox presets. The Groovebox consists of 16 step sequencer lanes with 8 shown per page. Each one of these lanes can play a different oscillator inside Viral Outbreak, send MIDI CC automation, or can send MIDI outside Viral Outbreak to control your other gear, even hardware synths. You can also use multiple lanes to send multiple notes to the same oscillator or synth at once, which lets you play polyphonic chords or patterns with ease. Each one of these lanes can be 16 to 64 steps long. A whole set of 16 programmed lanes makes up a pattern, and you can store 64 patterns in one patch. The coolest part is you can arrange the playback of these patterns below the lanes. So that's how you can build up a complete arrangement inside Viral Outbreak. It's a very powerful tool for both composition and sound design. So that gives you a quick overview of the Groove Box. I may do a more in-depth tutorial in the future. If that's something you'd be interested in, be sure to give me some feedback. Now I'm going to go through some of the new Groovebox presets for you. Let's get to it. The first one is called Afternoon by Tasmodia. So you can see here he has three lanes playing drums on channel one and two lanes playing a chord. You can see the chord is on MIDI channel two and the drums are on MIDI channel 1. Taz has mapped Mod Wheel on most of the presets. Here it's mapped to a master filter. That's a pretty simple one to start things off. Let's try another one. This preset is called Blue Period by Tasmodia. This is a good example of a polyphonic pattern because here we have six lanes all going to the same instrument. Actually two oscillators which are the left and right layer of the same sound. It's also a good example of a longer pattern because it's a 64 step pattern. We can move through the steps in increments of 16 by pushing the third mouse button. Here we're on the first 16 steps, now I'll push it. 
17 to 32. And the final 16 steps. So you can have quite long patterns. This preset is called Fabric by Tasmodia. Right now my host tempo is at 120 BPM, but this preset's actually playing back at 136. So you can store a different BPM in the preset, or you can just sync to the host tempo. Quite a lot of mod matrix action going on in this preset, as you can see. This preset uses eight lanes just for drums, and then four more lanes for a chord. Here's a preset by myself called Fantasy Star. This preset uses four different patterns and they're sequenced down here, A1, A2, A3, A4, and then a loop. You might be wondering what these steps are. These are note offs. You can specify specific note offs to get the exact sound that you're looking for. And without going into it in depth, you can also specify flams, note offsets, and note slides for portamento sequences. This patch is called Ice Dancer by Tasmodia. As you can hear, you can use the groove box for atmospheric presets. Not just drum, full mix, or melodic presets. This patch is called Low Damage and it's by myself. The first lane is the bass. Then come some drum mode lanes. And the melodic lanes at the end. One interesting thing about this preset is it's got an XY pad mapped to two different parameters. Let's check it out. fun to create modulations like that. Here we've got another patch by Tasmodia called Nightlife. 